Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and a very very happy morning to all see in this video. This video is about Bank of Baroda. Yes guys, this result was a negative due to provisioning but these are several unknown factors and several leads you must know before investing in Bank of Baroda. So without wasting time, let us go to this video guys. And the first thing you must note is that the operating profit is increased up to 4958 gross year on year with a growth of 8.5% and the net interest margin has also increased by 2.80% but even though after seeing all this guys there is a very very important point you should note as you can see here the gross NPA ratio is at 10.43% in this quarter gross NPA ratio is at 10.43% when compared with 10.25 last year guys and if you see the total gross NPA non-performing assets is now around 73 crore this is the first thing you should note guys and second thing a bank should have is capital adequacy ratio I think the capital adequacy ratio for this bank is a 13.48% and uh, this is a favorable uh, condition for this bank in order to move forward now at a snapshot of this result as you can see here uh, the total deposit they received was 9 lakh crore and net advances was 6 and a half lakh crore and the operating profit was around 4958 crores but even after that the loss came around 1407 crore you should also note that now it is not alone bank of Baroda but a mixture of three banks I mean Two banks has been amalgamated with this Bank of Baroda, so it is now the accounts of three banks you are going to see, guys. And this is a progress of this quarter. Total business has been developed, but if you see the branches also also improved. If you see September to December 19, and uh, if you see the total customers is now at 13.1 crore, but it is a small momentum, but it is not that much, guys. And if you see the slippage ratio has been increased from 3.95 to 6.78 and credit cost, credit cost also in, increased that is a very very uh, bad thing guys and also uh, cost to income ratio has increased cost of deposit has been decreased these three things as you can see here has been negative slippage ratio is been uh, on uh, increasing side credit cost and cost to income ratio the three things that mainly we see in banks these three things has been increased in bank of Baroda, which signifies a bad thing for this case so already we saw one thing positive two things positive and one thing negative in this bank and uh, let us go to the third thing we can see here guys this is a result we have given as you can see here the final result as you can see here the total business is at 15 lakh crore i mean the business has been improved and the cost are deposit of Cost of deposit has also increased, but if you see this, all the things, guys. But the final thing you should see in this means the cost of ratio has improved, they have given that, but the cost of deposit has been decreasing, but it is not in the level which we which have been having, guys. Uh, so it is very, very important for maintaining this cost to income ratio, cost to deposit ratio, and all. And this is the amount of loan book they are having in this. As you can see here, December 18, corporate loan book was 47.76%. And now we can see this corp this loan book of this company. The loan book is around this 46. I mean, 50%. It just takes an uh, for count. 50% of this loan book is coming to corporate alone, guys. So it is a corporate base, but 15% is allocated to agriculture which is very very good and if you move down we can see here the loan growth they are, they are showing the retail credit the retail credit is also increasing what is retail credit retail credit majorly involves our individuals so it has been improved as you can see here and uh, let us move to the next part post amalgamation the risk has been uh, stably continued and msme portfolio me micro small medium enterprises portfolio Sibyl has also been in the same range as you can see here and improving rating profile but even though all this has been given we found it a very very thing as you can see here the NBFC exposure and guys as you all know already we have already seen an NBFC going to uh, insolvency which has driven by 
Reserve Bank of India and is nothing but Devan Housing Finance Limited and you will be surprised to see here the risk rating profile for this and the total exposure to NBFC as you can see here 1,3,110 crore crore guys 1,3,110 crore exposure is been to uh, NBFC and out of which out of which 46 out of 1,3,110 triple A is 46,505 crore but if we see the double B and below book is has been reduced that is a good thing but the exposure is keep on increasing and this rating may change any time guys you know D1 housing had a triple A now it is being booked into insolvency within a time period of gap this already happening happening and we can see anything as you can see here in the SCS exposure at 1,3,110 crore and uh, out of which out of which 17% is belonging to the central and state PSUs guys and the yield on advance is also good and treasury operations the business performance international they have given because they have various branches in international as well as domestic branches and this is the uh, total they have given impact on racing session and international operations they have given guys also uh, the major portion of business has been in domestical but they are also given the key operational ratios for international operations they have given guys and uh, finally what will this do to this uh, performance and this the net interest margin the net interest margin has been decreased to 2.88 what is the reason you may ask me the reason is nothing but the credit growth they have got and the credit cost as I have seen already on the above the credit cost has been improved I mean has been reduced guys and this is the one of the main reason and this is the customer revenue operating they have given it and uh, the operating profit as we already say it has been in constant range and but due to the due to the exposure to the provision side they are creating a loss and this time they have created a loss now people may ask me what to do now and whether to buy this share at this price to, the, to those let us see this asset quality asset quality has been a slippage ratio as you can see here what is slippage ratio slippage ratio means for the NPS NPS means non performing asset they will create a slippage ratio whether it is good or not but if we see the slippage ratio is on 6.78 from 3.65 is now at 6.78 and the credit cost has been drastically improved as you can see you are, you are seeing this 3.88% no guys, it is not just 3.8% multiply into lack of gross loan given then you will know the amount of uh, credit cost percentage that has been increased in it. So keeping all these factors as away, you could ask me whether to buy this chart at this price guys. To those persons, my answer would be guys, the first and foremost thing you should note it is a government company. The second thing is it is a profitable government company. And the third thing is that it is the second largest or third largest public sector undertaking in India with a government bank as I said already but the fact you should note that the provisions that are set as heading for the loan is very very important to note guys and let, if you ask me whether to buy at this price definitely there are more negatives than positive in this result but it is not the only end there is more years to go for this bank so if you get a correction up to the level of 75 to 78 if you hold it and the budget is also coming next week you should see this common stocks doing a boom in this next week and also in 6 to 12 months we are saying bank of Baroda asset quality and the slippage ratio is being constantly improved then we may see a beautiful target in bank of Baroda shares but the main problem as we said is the slippage ratio has to be reduced and this credit cost also to be reduced and the third positive thing I mean the positive thing we can say is about this bank the bank exposure to corporates and this corporate is a good thing but another negative thing when speaking about corporate is this NBFC exposure the NBFC exposure is now at 13,000 crore exposure in which 46,000 crore is good but anything may happen in time that definitely we are trying to say but we assure uh, this result is a mixed 
back of sell and we are already waiting how the share will trade on Monday because if you see if you see the if you take in the point of bear, bearing bearishness of the share there is a hell lot of negative but if we see in this point of the bull the capital adequacy ratio has improved, the net interest margin has been the same range and they are trying to maintain their provision at the range level. So, it is on the demand and sell graph on Monday. We assure uh, this video would have helped you. Then make sure you subscribe yourself for more videos and see another video very soon.